seems to be working. Hello, hello. Okay, so let's start first with some announcements, although maybe, yeah, for people that watch it later. Um, so I passed the board for the, the version we're working on right now. Uh, Nick, you're going to send the report to Tordev um, today, I guess. Let's see um, the job post goes up on time, yeah. Yeah, yeah, after the shop post, perfect. And that's the announcement that we are going to be hiring two Rust developers. Uh, the position is will be will be on the website very soon. Okay, a status of the last two weeks. Uh, do you want to go ahead and start with that and talking about the planning for next uh, few weeks too? Sure. So mostly it's as on the draft um, status thing. The highlights are that I got a first version of the circuit timeout code done. Um, the, the stuff I still need to solve is making the data persistent. I need to solve um, intermodule event notification and figure out architecturally how I want that to work. And I'm going to have to do the automatic circuit launch code. That's going to, I want to put a little thinking into that because that's going to start having a condition where we have tasks that run not in response to any particular user request. So I want to make sure it's easy to turn those on and off in bulk. Um, we've got some really good volunteer patches merged. I highlight some of them in the uh, report. And I think those are going to I think that kind of suggests that we're going to have a good volunteer community involved with Artie if we can be good project hosts for them and provide good feedback and prompt review. Let's see. So that is the bulk of what's up. Um, as usual, stuff is somewhat distracted because of the sheer volume of other things that need to get done. But with any luck, we can get some time to focus on this. Next two weeks, we got to announce the job openings and promote them. I'm hoping to finish the open tasks I mentioned in the uh, circuit timeout stuff. Um, I believe David is going to start working on the isolation stuff. There is a implementation merged from a volunteer, and there's a list of uh, changes and improvements that we want to make to it. And I want to start on implementing guards because guards is the largest remaining feature that has to get done in 011. And I'd like to get all our features just done and settled so that we can spend the rest of our 011 timeline on small issues, API polishing, and so forth. For the guard work, is this something uh, George and Mike are going to be a little involved, at least in the planning? Uh, they are welcome if they want to. I think I got the early stages of it, but if they've got any architectural suggestions, then yeah, we should totally like talk about that. Um, I was not planning to be involved, at least in the implementation phase. But what I would very gladly do is, if Nick, you have any questions like uh, on the algorithm or how the layer two stuff works, or you want any opinions, just direct them to me and I will gladly give advice or help. Sounds reasonable. Okay, sounds great. Uh, any blocker? Um... Uh, Nick? Nothing. Perfect. So if people want to contribute, um, they just uh, send you patches, like go to RC, that's the, the way you're doing it right now, right? Uh, uh, you yeah, we're taking, okay. yeah, we're taking patches on as merge requests on GitLab. I make sure to okay. look over new account requests and anonymous uh, GitLab ticket postings, like on the order of about once a day. Awesome. Okay, anything, uh, David, Mike, George, do we have anything uh, about this, the, the work for the next uh, two weeks? 
Okay. Um, all good there, perfect. Uh, okay, so you added also, Nick, the stuff about discussing a little more a few, a few things. I think it's a good idea, mostly like the stuff about different architectural questions. It seems to be that it would be something good to bring here and uh, uh, have a other space of discussion, specifically for RT. Right. I'm mainly just looking for a meta discussion right now about um, how to do knowledge transfer and knowledge dissemination about the current setup and layout of the code. And also I'm hoping that folks can help me brainstorm about how to handle some of the upcoming um, architectural things that we need to solve. Sounds good to me. And it's a good place also for like, uh, we, we will have this uh, published later, so it will be a good place for people just to come back and, and watch. No? Um, is there anything specific or you want to do this in the next meeting, so to have a little planning? Hmm. Um, I don't really have a plan here. I'm hoping, in, I'm hoping like anybody else might have suggestions or thoughts. Um, we could do, we could plan in advance some piece of code to do. Um, I don't think we should, we should plan like a full two weeks in advance what piece of code to go over just because that's, um, who knows what's going to be the highest priority in two weeks. Yeah, like it should be just a planning in, uh, like the few days before the meeting. Um, but yeah, let's do it for the next one. I also added the stuff, the discussion that was in the mailing list. Um, that David was looking at, I thought maybe it was interesting also something related, it could be related to how art is going to be working. I don't know, David, if you have any. Wait, uh, I didn't get at all the, the question. Something about what uh, Steve and Ian said to the amenities that they thought it could be also related on how uh, we are going to think about relay architecture. I don't know if that's something you think should be considered or not. Well, I, I did reply to them a few times already, and uh, uh, I I have not yet assessed what RT is doing at the moment you know, with regards to what they did. Right now, RT is doing absolutely no fairness queuing or anything like that. Yeah, there's um, not even a sales scheduler. So, and and this is very right. relay side uh, research. So for now, I, I see. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Okay, sounds good. I am thinking uh, that given uh -huh. the time, it would be clever of us to get a minimum, some kind of minimal relay implementation cobbled together for testing purposes, and as a basis for uh, future work. But I think that's going to wait. Need to wait until we've got more time on our hands, more people, or both. Sounds good. Uh, anything else for today? Okay, maybe not. Uh, yeah, that's a short, a short meeting. Okay. Nick. No, I'm. I'm oh. good. I'll see you okay. all at the all hands. Okay. Perfect. Bye. -bye. And, uh, Thank you. Somebody ping me if you see the job post go up before I do so that I know to put in the link and in the report before I send out the report. Sure. Sounds great. Oh, Mike is typing. Right. Oh, Mike is <laughs> about, the, <laughs> about the this week in um, Latvia, do you Yeah. Do we have a plan on when the job post is gonna go out in case we can sneak it in for this week? It is Aaron's job to put out the blog post and try to get it into um, media stuff. I do not want to... Um, we, we cannot put anything in this week in Rust until the job post goes out. We don't know when that is happening. We think it is happening today. I, I'm sure it's happening today. So it's going to be happening today. Um, uh, this is post. The show goes out, and then yeah. we can we can coordinate through the day. Yeah, at, at which All point right. either we make the deadline for this week or we get in next week. Sounds good. Sounds great. Thank you, people. All right. Bye, everybody. Right. Bye, guys. Bye. Let's
Bye.